Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a beautiful races inspired look on my mama. Um, we did like bronzy tones because she has like a bronze fascinator. And yeah, here we go. So I just started by using the Anastasia brow kit just to fill in mum's brows. As you can see, her hair is very, very light. So I just made them a bit darker, just to make them like a main feature on her face. So yeah, just filling them in with the powder. When doing brows, I always make sure I fill like the top and the bottom and then fill in the middle with little hair like strokes so then it can look as natural as possible. Then I'm just going to set those with a clear brow gel, just spilling that through the brows. Using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, I'm just carving out her brows and also like priming the lids. This covers mum's redness and darkness around her eyes. With mature skin, you do tend to get a lot of darkness and veininess around like the facial features, especially eyes, nose and mouth. So just making sure I cover that just by patting that product on. I am making sure that I also carve out the top of the brows and that they're even because eyebrows are sisters. Woo! Using my little Huda Beauty palette, I'm just using the white and just setting mum's lid. I wanted to use this palette for the look, but we went for like um, more brown tones and this one was quite like a mauve -y. So yeah, I did just go in with the Violet Boss palette for most of the look and yeah, I just love that palette so much. So I'm just using a warm brown shade just to put that through her crease and out of V. I'm pretty sure the shade is called Transition, which is perfect because it's that light brown shade that you want to use in the transition so all the other colours are smooth. I'm using a big fluffy brush for this one just so it is seamless and it looks airbrushed. I'm making sure I put enough layers on that I, it is like the desired darkness that I want it to be. I'm also taking a smaller brush with that colour mixed with the even like deeper brown just to smoke it that out of V even more and go along the lash line as well because we wanted it to be quite smoky but still very warm. So yeah, just using that darker colour just to brush along the lash line and in the out of V. Just keep doing it until it's the desired darkness and deepness that I want. Then I'm just going in with a more orangey based colour and using a bigger brush, like an orangey brown, and just smoking that again just to make sure the colours are blended. Just using windshield wiper motions, just going back and forth, back and forth, and yeah. I am making sure that I almost go halfway on the lid as well, just so when we put the shimmer on, it is like a smooth blend and no gap in between the two shades. I am going in with a darker brown now just to make it a bit more smoky. If you guys are wondering what brushes I'm using as well, I basically just use Zoeva and Jessup brushes. They're probably my favourite. I really need to get new brushes, but I'm so lazy at like buying things that I actually need. So I will definitely buy some new brushes soon. And then just taking a bigger brush with a light brown and just um, smoking the top out, making sure it is a seamless blend from the base to the eye colour. We want it to be like a smooth transition. We don't want there to be a harsh line anywhere. We want smooth and seamless for this look. And then just taking this little pigment from MAC, it's from a holiday collection, and I'm just patting that onto mum's lid. It's like a deep bronzy gold. Um, it has a really nice reflect to it and I'm just patting that on her eye, making sure I am smoothing it over to the other colour and almost cutting her crease but not really, it's a bit more gentle. A lot of clients also ask me why I do eyes first and it is so I can clean up the edge and make sure there's no fallout on the like foundation or concealer because when it does fall it does look like almost like a dark under eye. 
like um like purple tones or anything that goes under it, it just draws so much attention so I always do the eyes first on everyone I'm then just aligning her lashes with a liquid liner, not doing a wing, just lining them to prep them for the false lashes. I do use foaming lashes on every customer as well and they are included in my price. I just think lashes should be a gift for your client. They just bring so much more to the look and just pull it all together, so I love lashes. I'm just making sure I get those lashes right on top of her natural lashes and really pinching them together. You don't want any gap or like them to be not attached to your lashes. So as you can see, I'm just pinching them and making sure the glue's tacky before I place them on. And then just taking my scar that I use on friends and family and just using that on her top lashes and kind of her bottom ones as well i normally get clients to close their eyes for this i find it so much easier than when their eyes are open just so i can get right in there and they don't move or anything so there's a little tip for you guys i'm then just going in with an illuminating primer just all over mum's skin just using like a dual fiber brush to blend that in just making sure i get all her dry patches under her eyes and like the high points of her face we want her to be glowing today especially because this is a races inspired look you want to make sure your client's skin or yourself is fully prepped and primed so that your foundation can last through the whole day for foundation, I am using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This is the third lighter shade, and I'm just using a beauty blender to press this one in. With mature skin, I do recommend using a beauty blender. It just makes sure you get into all those nooks and crannies, and it's a lot more gentler and doesn't tug on the skin like a kabuki brush would. Honestly, guys, if you haven't tried this foundation, you need to. There's literally zero flashback. Like, there's SPF in it, but there's still no flashback, and it's just, like, the perfect foundation. It covers everything. Mum had, like, a blemish on her chin, and it covered that, so it's amazing. Using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15, I'm just bringing that under mum's eyes, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin, and just um, making sure I pat that on right under the under eye. I'm using a beauty blender to blend that out as well. Beauty blenders are good because they, all, oh, they also <laughs> soak up all the excess product on the face so you don't look cakey or like you have so much foundation and concealer on. So that's a really good idea as well and a good reason to use a proper beauty blender. With mature skin as well, I would recommend not putting foundation under the eyes, just um, putting concealer there also so there's not a lot of creasing. And then just setting with a light powder shade from the Kat Von D palette under her eyes so we don't get any creasing or any product moving around during the day. If you're out at the races, it is a very hot and humid day, especially in Rocky where we're from. Also setting mum's face with a translucent powder so no product moves around, no sweat can peep through there and everything just looks great and flawless for a long day betting on horses. I'm then just going to bronze and contour mum's skin with the Kat Von D um, uh, contour kit and the MAC Gimme Sun bronzer. Using a angled brush to do this, it just gets right in mum's cheekbones and I'm making sure I blend upwards and not dragging it down. I want to make sure it's high. If it's down low, it can look like a 5 o'clock shadow and it doesn't look flattering. So you want to make sure that you get the right position in your client's face and make them look bronze and like a goddess. I also like to bronze around the forehead, on the nose and the chin and also like down on the chest area as well just to give an overall glow. Going with a peachy colour blush on mum as well and <laughs> there she is doing a little dance. 
and then I'm going to highlight her with the Moonstone Highlighter by Becca. Just doing, uh, using this and really pressing it into mum's skin, making sure it looks like it's just a part of like her glow, her natural glow, not just like a shimmer on top of her skin. So I'm really just pressing that in while I'm blending. I do it on her cheekbones, her nose, her cupid's bow. Yeah, just stunning. And then also going in with a small eyeshadow brush and just doing mum's under eyes. So I'm just using a light brown and smoking that out really tight to the lash line. And then going in with a highlighting colour and putting that in her inner corners and brow bone as well. Did do a nude lip by NYX as well, but I forgot to film it, so sorry guys. But yes, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really love it. Um, I hope this helps a lot of mums out there to, to help them do their makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for my next video next week and love yous. Bye.